Hey guys, what's up? Brickmaster here, and today we are going to be doing my first ever Lego review. So this is uh, the Lego Ninjago movie Manta Ray Bomber, set number 70609, recommended from ages 7 to 14, has 341 pieces and 4 minifigures. So, let's take a look at those minifigures. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll just leave that there. So you guys can see that. You see the box. There's the front. There's the back. Nice artwork. So, first minifigure we have here is Shen Lai. He's that guy right there. And um, he is really cool. Uh, he is a civilian minifigure, so he is not part of the ninja team. He's not like Wu's brothers, sisters, cousins, friend, or whatever. I don't think. I mean, we will we'll have to see the movie first. But he has the new style of rice paper hat. A really cool looking. I really like that. There's a more clear look at his facial expression. And then his torso and legs are very cool. Uh, I feel like if they dual molded the legs, those would look a lot better. But they didn't, so... Yeah. And then his accessory is this long pole with two buckets on each end. And how that attaches to him is on the back he has this neck bracket with a clip on. So... I'll show you what that looks like in a second, but first there's his back torso printing that can focus. Okay, so yeah, that's what that looks like. So let's put this back on. And then his head. Ooh. And now if, if you're going to put this on, put it on before you put the hat on. It's just way easier. And that's what he looks like with that on. It's like he's just carrying some buckets. There's nothing in those buckets, though. Yeah, really cool looking minifigure. Next figure is our ninja, which is Cole. Here is Cole. He is almost exclusive to the set. The only other set he comes in is, of course, the Destiny's Bounty. Now, he does come in the Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon, but in that, in that set, he has his exclusive hairpiece. In this set, he does not. That's what his face looks like underneath, before I show you anything else. That's his other face. Focus. That's what it looks like with the mask. That's what it looks like with the mask off. Now, of course, this is two pieces. There's another. Okay, look at that face. And then his accessory for this set is a hammer. This is his hammer. Uh, very different than what we've ever seen in Ninjago. Stupid studded base plate there we go. and this is made up of a few different pieces we have this long rod here and then we have this little assembly here which is a cheese slope a snot brick and a plate so yeah very cool weapon really easy to make one thing that i wish they did differently is make the handle shorter but i do know why they did not make it short because if if he's standing on a flat surface, this can touch the ground to make him stabilized. But if that's not touching the ground, most of the time he will tip over. Because he'll be too top heavy. So like if he's in a battle pose, he'll just fall over. Hold on. My camera's all funky. There we go. That's better. So yeah. Really cool minifigure. Super great to have. Cole. And now we get two Shark Army members. The first... Stupid fish. Don't mind me. Our first one here is the Shark Army Gunner. He comes in a few other sets, but with a few different names, I believe. I'm pretty sure he's Charlie from the... Uh, what set is that? Hold on, let me think for a second. Oh yeah, the Green Ninja Mech Dragon. But he is very cool. Um, Just so you guys know, these two share prints for the torso and legs. 
So yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to take much stuff off the Great White so that you can just uh, see the torso here. So there's the front and the back. Very weird face, I must say. I like the face, but the, the expression is just weird. And then for his accessory, we get a light blue fish and a Psy weapon right there. So that is very cool. I like that weapon a lot. Uh, so yeah, we'll put him back there. And now here is the Great White. Now first I want to take a look at his weapon. Because his weapon is what I like to call the Unicorn Fish. So what this is, is this is a Unicorn Horn. Or that's what I like to call it because it looks like one. And then, look, it's, it's, it's a Unicorn Fish. Okay. Or it can be a pointy thing. In a fish's mouth. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Allergies are so bad right now. Um. Anyway, let's take a look at the Great White himself. Uh, there's his face print underneath. Again, I'm not going to show you the, the torso in more detail. Because you already saw it with our other guy. You can see his battery's running low. So he's not very happy. And his eyebrows are like, cut me, make me shorter. And then on the back, he has an oxygen tank and his weapon I already showed you. So yeah, those are our mini figures. Now, let's take a look at the build of the set, which is the Manta Ray Bomber itself. Now, this has some pretty cool features to it. So, I will show you those in a little bit. But first, let's take a look at the bomber itself, or the manta ray. So on the front, its eyes are made up of some Technic pieces. So you can see there's an axle running through there, and then there's some uh, Technic pieces on the end with some trans orange studs to make eyes. Now right here, you can see a mouth, and you can see these look a little bit weird. Now, these back here, these are, these are uh, trigger mechanisms, and you just saw that fly out. Uh, those are spring-loaded shooters. Let me find that real quick. I don't want to lose those things. I already lost one, and they give you three in this set. So that's nice that you can... Uh, just use the extra one. I've never actually had to use the extra one before. But, yeah. It's gotta be a first for everything, right? You can see right here there are oars. These are part of an action feature that I will show you later. They just clip in right here, and they look pretty good. They don't really stand out, which I like. What I also like is all the play features on here. They're not bright red. The only... The brightest color on here is yellow, and that is for the cockpit. And that's actually another play feature, which I will show you a little bit later. And then here are the wings that are very cool. And you can see from the back, it's really hard to move to maneuver this thing around. So I'm sorry if I can't get very good angles. And then there are two stickers in this set, and there are 26s on both sides. Here are the bombs it themselves. They look like bumblebees to me. Bzz. These are like the stingers, and then it's just black and black with yellow stripes. I must said black and white. And then this wing is exactly the same as the last one, except one is reversed. And two, this one has a red, uh, red tile. Now, if we flip it around to the back, we can see we have some fins on the back that don't spin on land. So what this is, this is a flying vehicle and a water vehicle. Now, the the tail, I feel, is very good handle. It's very sturdy. But what I don't like about it is it's attached with Technic pieces. So it's not secure. I mean, it, it, it will not fall off. Definitely not. But... It's, it's not in there very well. Very annoying, definitely. But, I mean, it's really good to pick up from right here and just swoosh it around. Very swooshable. You didn't see any of that right there. Hold on, let me just angle that up. Ah. Uh, 
Yikes. Come on, camera, don't break on me. There we go. Oh, I am so sorry. The thing that holds my camera is not doing very well at its job right now. I have to be fired. But yeah, um, if you didn't see how these stud shooters shoot out, what it is, is right here, there's a little handle. And then when you pull back on that, the stud shooters shoot out from either side of this mouth right here. A lot of people do not like this vehicle. I do. Uh, it's definitely a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. But what's really annoying about this is that in the trailer, if you've seen the trailer for the movie, you know that there are like a hundred of these things. But this set is $30, so it's not very easy to mass produce these, meaning buy a bunch of them. So I think LEGO could have cut down on the parts a lot, made this more miniaturized, and just cut back on a lot of the pieces, some of the play features, and could have made this easily a 20 or even a $10 set. And uh, cut back on some of the minifigures. Maybe only include one ninja and then maybe the gunner or the great white. But yeah. There's one more plate. Oh yeah. This. This is really annoying. So this piece right here. It, it attaches in like this on either side. But one. This piece always falls off. So you always have to flip it over. And then you have to reattach it. And then the wing won't even stay on. It is very annoying. Because the wing always falls off because it's not very securely attached. It's just... Ugh. And then when you try to put it back on... Nope. Sorry. Can't do that. Hold on. I dropped a few things. Yeah, it's just not the best. So, minifigure placement. What they suggest is putting your great white... Oh, yeah. The canoe. So, or not the canoe. I always call it a canoe. It's a raft thing. What you can do with this... Or, no, it's a kayak. What you can do with this is with these oars, you can have an escape. So, what you do is you can just take off this whole entire section. Usually when you do that, one of the these things will shoot out. I really don't like how that's activated because I just, it's super easy to do when you don't want to. But then this is very cool. They use some of these new uh, two by two plate slash tiles, half plate, half tile. So the gunner would be over here in his gun. There's a magnifying glass. Ooh, creepy. And then here we have some levers to control it. And now what this would become is it would become this way. And this would be the front. And the bombs would just, just be bombs. And then you would use these to row it. So this would be kind of a escape pod sort of thing so if we put these back on oh yeah and that attaches again with some studs some of those new pieces for the lego ninjago movie really nice pieces uh i think they'll be great for custom builds i like for the people who actually make custom builds not me i'm not much of a custom builder i can make displays if I have all the parts, but not really custom stuff. This thing is not stable. Hold on a second here. Get me some slack. Cut me some slack, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm new at this. No, I'll just hold it for the rest. Um... And I think that's pretty much it for the set. This this set is really great for what you get. Um, the play features, they're not that good, but they don't really have to be for a $30 set. Uh, really nice minifigures. I, I really think the minifigures are 
probably the highlight of the set. You get a civilian who will not focus. Get Cole who will also not focus. Come on, dude. Focus. Focus your mind. There we go. He focused. Come on. Focus. Focus. Ah, whatever. We get a gunner and a great white. So, great way to get some shark army, guys. Come on. You can do it. Now can you do it? I guess not. But anyway, I pretty much, I, I think that concludes our look at the Manta Ray Bomber. This is a great set. If, if you have $30 and you're choosing between uh, all the sets that are $30, I would recommend Master Falls. <laughs> I, I do not currently own that set, but I feel like that's the best $30 set in this movie. Out of the three is the Master Ray Bomber, the Jelly Sub, and Master Falls. I will be getting the Jelly Sub and the, um, what's that other set? Oh yeah, the Water Strider, because I want to collect all the ninja. So, uh, look out for videos, uh, for those very soon i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please leave a like and subscribe and also minifigure blind bags are on the way i do have a couple of the minifigures i have kai kendo uh coco the angler and flashback garmadon so yeah those figures are really cool but i will do a full review on a bunch of the minifigures very soon so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more content from the Brickmaster. With that, I bid you farewell. Okay, that's my dog, by the way. Harley, say hi. Say hi to the camera. Bye, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Call, call, call.